So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the post-match press conference for the match between Scotland and the Netherlands. We have the coach for Scotland. Coach, where do you think it all went wrong? Uh, I, I, I thought we played pretty well. We, we After a tough start, we had a real good partnership there with the captain and, and Brandon McMullen. Um, and I thought we did well to get to 278, 277. Um, but full credit to the Dutch, they played really well and that 100 came at a crucial time and put us under a lot of pressure. It seems like it's a repeat of 2018, you're in a similar position where you needed just one more win to, to just, you know, seal it to go into the World Cup and it's a repeat place. How, do, how, how does that feel having to have gone through the same emotions now? Oh, it's bitterly disappointing. Obviously, we were, we were wanting to win, um, which is natural. And the guys will be hurting, they're in the change room now. Um, but it's been on that. It's been an outstanding campaign for us. I think we've we've um, played some awesome games, um, having beaten three full members for the first time as well, which is pretty good. So we can be pretty proud of what we've achieved. You just spoke about the positives from this whole qualifier. Can you just add a little bit more? Because I believe you guys have had a brilliant tournament, except for this just one game where you needed one more win. Can you just highlight a little bit more of the positives that you draw out from this whole qualifier? Yeah, definitely beating um, West Indies, Zimbabwe um, and Ireland was, was a massive, massive positive for us um, and games that we performed really well in. Um, but as I said today, uh, Netherlands managed to get ahead. And then some key players that you would like to highlight from this whole series that have been your key performers. Any names that you want to throw at us? Yeah, Brandon McMullen's had an outstanding tournament with bat and ball. Uh, Chris Sowell has been superb. He's bowled some real, real quick deliveries and taken wickets at important times. Um, all in all, it's been uh, all the players have chipped in at different times. Chris Greaves has chipped in. The captain, Richie Barrington, has been really good. Um, Waddy has been outstanding with his left arm spin. So throughout the tournament, different players have stood up in different games. So I'm extremely proud of them. Then just walk us through the toss. Was it, did it play in any key role in how the day played out? Because um, throughout the whole tournament, winning the toss made little difference. Did today, did it make any difference on the wicket that you guys played today? No, we were pretty happy batting first. Um, we've done it on a couple other occasions and come out on top. And we were going to bowl first, but batting first, we weren't worried about it. Right, then with the way in which the guys played, I know that they've been playing their hearts out. One of the key things that have stood out is a quote from you saying that play each game as if it's the first game of the tournament. How do you pick them up onto the next big thing from such a big thing? Because this loss is not just minor, this is the ticket to the World Cup. Yeah. How do you lift their spirits up? I think now it'll be just a couple of days off um, and, and we have to turn around quite quickly because we've got qualifiers coming up in a couple of days' time. We start that on the 18th of July. So it'll be a few days off, spend some time with their families, um, recover, get strong again. We're carrying a few niggles, the boys. Um, and then we're straight back into that and have to be refocused for that. And then just give us a description of your African safari in Zimbabwe, the time that you guys have spent here. How has it been for you? It's been incredible. I'm, I'm, all the people have been very friendly um, and we've loved our time in Zim. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.